southern boys with the farmer strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. Goldberg. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Goldberg. Welcome to the Survivor Series review from your boy as we were live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the greatest city, the greatest province, the greatest country in the world, Canada. We were in the Air Canada Center for tonight. To tonight's Survivor Series, I enjoy it. I enjoyed the show. I'm worried to watch someone else's review because they're just going to shit all over it and it's just going to kill my mood. And I'm not going to lie, bro. What happened tonight? We're going to get to that. So, we start off the show. We were live with Mar Ronaldo, JBL, Corey Graves, and Byron Saxon at ringside. Raw and SmackDown commentators calling the traditional women's Survivor Series Team Raw versus Team SmackDown live match. We had, um... Uh, the, the match was about to start and Nikki Bella's music hit and I'm looking at Carmella immediately I'm like what did you do what did you do did you do this like did you fucking try to screw over Smackdown like this and then the camera rushed to the back they see uh, what the they see Nikki Bella with a trainer and then your Brian and Natalia reaches over she's like some are, uh, Nikki Bella says someone hit her from behind, but doesn't know who it is. And the trainer wouldn't wouldn't com uh, make her compete. They weren't clear. So Natalia was like, you know what? I'll step in. You know, I may be the coach, but I'm going to step in to join SmackDown. We can't have a four on five Survivor Series match. So then Natalia comes out. I'm like, I'm like it's Natty. Natty did this. Natty wanted to be captain to begin with. So she did it. There's no way Carmella did it. It had to be Natty. Obviously, it's one or the other. It could be Carmella, but at the same time, it has to be Natty. So, we have the match. The matchup was decent. It went from decent to great, actually. You know, women were all over the place. Carmella had some, had some time to shine. Alexa Fox did her thing. Nia Jax, Jesus Christ, Nia Jax was the the main point in this match to me, cause she look. I swear, I kept I, I kept saying this uh, during the match. I'm like, Nia Jax is is that one person where if you look at one team, you're like, I love this team. I like this team. This team seems more legit. Well, when you see the other team and you see Nia Jax, you think she's gonna be a huge fucking factor. So sh so she might be the reason why. Um, Team Raw wins, right? Matches happen, and a lot of people got eliminated. Naomi got eliminated by count out by Nia Jax, tossing her to the freaking bring post, and yanks her off the apron. And the, re the fans were hilarious whenever the referee started counting. They count, they, they chant ten when the referee counts. And then um, Sasha Banks got eliminated via roll up. Um, Alexa Bliss got eliminated by Big Boo from Charlotte, and a lot more. Uh, I believe the final people in the match was Becky Lynch, Charlotte, and Bailey. Now, when Bailey got the tag, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be interesting. Besties are going at it, and then, and then after that, Bailey just. Like they fought back and forth, but before that, Nia Jax, I did I thought she would be eliminated or at least the sole survivor, right? She got eliminated, which I didn't think would work. I didn't think it would happen. She got disarmed, disarmed by Becky Lynch, and she tapped out. And I'm like, holy shit, she just tapped. What now? <laughs> like, oh my god, right? She takes out Becky Lynch and she tosses her onto the barricade and bring her back in the ring. Then it was down to three. And then uh, Becky Lynch and Charlotte went at it and then Charlotte made the tag to Bailey. Then in the end, Bailey to Bailey for the win. And then right as Charlotte and Bailey had their hands up, 
Charlotte immediately assaults Bailey. And the fans were like, fuck this bitch. You know, I'm done. <laughs> you know? Like, they just attacked Charlotte. And they're just trashing all over. And they're just walking. I'm like, okay. So, we just have a match. Um, Roblox will have Bailey versus uh, Charlotte for the women's title. I guarantee you that within the four weeks we have it to Roblox, which I was at the first one back in March. So, yeah. Mm. Uh... Sasha Banks will cash in or revo invoke her rematch clause, and she's going to fight Charlotte on Raw. Thinking that, oh, you know, every time she fought Charlotte on Raw, she would win. They're going to fight on Raw again, but this time Charlotte retains the title. That's what I predict heading into Roblox. So we come backstage with uh, Ellsworth, right? He's uh, talking to, uh, I believe, no, no, he was, he was walking backstage being all happy, and then... Anderson and Gallows come up and they're talking trash to him, you know, making chin jokes and whatnot. Gallows calling him a nerd and then Mick Foley comes in and tells him to knock it off. They have a match to worry about, you know. And Ellsworth was just talking about, you know, he marks out basically. That's what it says here in WrestlingInc.com. It basically says that Ellsworth marks out over meeting Foley, saying he's a fan of, fan of his for all of his life. And, you know, Foley trying to do some underhanded, sneaky type shit. He tried to tried to lure Ellsworth onto Raw, and then Ellsworth's like, you know, Foley, I appreciate that, but I'm I'm Team Blue, man. I'm committed to Team Blue, and Foley's like, all right, I, I mind your uh your uh your loyalty, but you're gonna you're gonna um, want to change your mind after Team Raw beats Team SmackDown. And also turns around, I thought you're going to be looking, looking at Daniel Bryan or Shane. No, he looks at Braun Strowman. And then Braun Strowman's like, don't I know you? Like, like if you walk into a bully you haven't seen in a while, and then he's like, don't I know you? And then you're like, then you just run. <laughs> that, that's what, basically what that was. So then we had the Intercontinental Championship match, Miz versus Zayn. Uh, we had Cole replacing Mauro Ronaldo and Otunga. With uh, Graves uh, with them. So it was, what was it? Michael Cole, Corey Graves, JBL, and Otunga. No, wait. It was Cole, JBL, Graves, Otunga. Yeah. yeah. Cole, JBL, Otunga, Graves. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> they were the commentary team. Uh, you know, Raw vs. SmackDown, right? And then I marked down when Zayn's music hit. I'm not gonna lie, I went, whew, I went crazy. And then uh, I I had a feeling that that Zayn would win the, Inter the Intercontinental Championship. But I actually didn't mind if Zayn won the title because I'm going to Raw tomorrow, right? I'm going to Raw, uh, depending on when I upload this. I'm going Raw on November 21st, so it didn't really matter to me. And then at that moment, but then um, I'll, it, but in deep inside, I was hoping that Miz would win just to keep the title on SmackDown, and yeah, referee uh, Zayn was Zayn had the figure four on on Miz, and then Maurice, Ma sorry Maurice, went f went to the freaking bell ring, the bell shit, and he she rang the bell. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? And then. Well, I did a reaction, so nothing much I can say about that. You can go watch it. The link is in the description box below. If you have not seen all of my reactions, the link is in the description box below. So, Miz took advantage of, of the situation and defeats Sami Zayn. One, two, three with the roll-up. And Zayn looking all shocked. And Miz walks away with the win. I'm like, shitty victory, but nothing less. Miz walks out and I got no champion. Then fast forward later on, we had the tag team traditional elimination Survivor Series match. Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. This match, I did a reaction for. There's nothing much I can say. All I can say is Team Raw won thanks to Cesaro and Sheamus. The New Day got eliminated within minutes, bro. They were making fun of Fandango and Tyler Breeze getting eliminated. The f we're being the first elimination, a very vast elimination, right? Jey Uso... Comes in with the super kick on Kofi and pinned the tag team champion. The tag team champions were were dot were lost. They lost. So they lost as fast as Brizongo did. What does that tell you? 
And what does Cesaro and Sheamus get for winning this match? They will get a tag team titles match tomorrow on Monday Night Raw. The same Raw that your boy is going. So, that is that. So then we move on later on. We have the Kalisto versus Brian Kendrick. This is where I took a break. I was like relaxing because that tag team match was ridiculous. Um... But before that, actually, I, I, I gotta look before I say shit. Look, Foley and Stephanie were backstage celebrating that Raw went 2 of old, old, old 1, I guess. 2 over 1, I don't know. And, and, uh, she, uh, they basically said, look, Cesaro and Sheamus were able to win the match, so they'll face the New Day for the tag team titles, and they were feeling real good, real good. So then we move on to the Kalisto versus Brian Kendrick Cruiserweight Championship match. This is where I took a break. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go and, uh, right? Now, I was focusing on uploading my videos at that point. And then I was actually, I was actually interested in the, at the end. I'm like, oh, God, I hope Kalisto wins this match, right? And when Kalisto hit the Salida Del Sol and Kendrick kicks out a two or he got his foot on the ropes... I knew, I called this, I called this, I think I tweeted it, but, or, or, in a video I said it, I called this, Baron Corbin was gonna screw Kalisto, and, and, and the Cruiserweights were gonna stay on Raw, I knew Baron Corbin was gonna cost Kalisto this match, and he did, he comes through, he attacks Kendrick, making Kendrick the winner via disqualification. And the loser will be Kalisto. And Corbin hits Kalisto with the end of days. And he walks out ACC. And then Daniel Bryan confronts Corbin like he's not happy. And he's going to deal with them on SmackDown this Tuesday. So we move on to the traditional. Oh my god, this match was the best Survivor Series match since two years ago from Team Cena, Team Cena versus Team Authority. I swear to God, to me, that's how good this match was. Like, holy shit, Strowman! I did a reaction and it's up. Link is in the description. Like I said, go check it out. I swear to God, man, my reaction of this match was ridiculous. This match was. Was just on fire. This match was hot. And it just. It, everybody was interested in this match. because Just because of the action. Not because of the story. The action is where it was at. Right. Uh, like Rollins and Jericho. And Kevin Owens got pops. From the crowd. And Roman Reigns was the only guy. To get booed. Yeah. So. And the best. There was, a, there was a lot of moments in this match, bro. There was a lot of moments. So, okay. Let me see what I can find. Okay, to what I know. Uh, Kevin Owens. Alright, he... No, 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 no. Actually, no, before that. Braun Strowman was going up against Shane. Right? And Team Blue, Randy Orton and Br and Bray Wyatt were dealing with Braun Strowman, so they put him on the announce table. And Shane O'Mac, bro. Now I agree that someone like a young superstar that deserves a spotlight to be on to be in the same team as Randy Orton, a Bray Wyatt, and AJ Styles, the WWE Champion. And a former champion, Dean Ambrose, right? And to go up against Seth Rollins, right? Basically the face of Raw. Kevin Owens, the universal champion. Jericho, a legend. And a big guy in Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. And, you know, but Shane McMahon, he held his own a tiny bit in this match. I gotta give him credit, right? I didn't really expect him to do some crazy shit what he did. What he did was he did an elbow drop through a through the table on Braun Strowman. My reaction 
speaks for itself. Just watch it. I'm telling you, this whole re this whole review, I'm gonna say, watch my reactions. This is why I really have no reason to do a review. This is why. So he did the he hit the he hit the elbow drop onto Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman actually got up to his feet somehow. About to make it to the ring, but then someone was holding his foot under the ring. I'm like, who? I'm like, who the hell? I instantly thought it was James. I instantly said James Ellsworth. And I was clapping and I was like, yes, Ellsworth, my boy. And he got put through a table to pay for it. God damn. The way he went through the table, I legit was like, he got the they got pizza there? I see Pizza Nova. They got pizza there? What? You didn't invite me? You got pizza there. And, and you didn't call me up. I see you. Alright. But, um, yeah. The fans were chanting holy shit and everything. And then later on, Jericho, right? Jericho was in trouble, I think. And... And then... Kevin Owens goes down after AJ hit Owens. Owens comes through with the list, and he beat up AJ with it. I'm just seeing him like, he's eliminated, right? Because he came with a foreign object, and the list is an object. And he came through, and he beat him with it. The fans are chanting. I don't know why the fans are chanting bullshit, because uh, the list is a weapon if you have a clipboard. Uh, duh, duh. So, I mean, if it was paper, maybe not. But he had a clipboard, which could be used as a weapon. Think, come on, you're you're my people in Toronto, and you're not even thinking about that. Come on now, but anyways, he hit him with it, and then he got eliminated. And then Jericho was was Jericho was like he lost his mind, gathering all the pages of the list as his life's work. And then Randy Orton got the tag. He slithered his way to the ring. He he runs up behind. Jericho turns him around. RKO. One, two, three. Jericho was eliminated. I'm like, oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Jericho got eliminated. Jericho was looking mad. I think he was looking at Kevin Owens with a mad look on his face. And then he turned him with an RKO, uh, Randy Orton. So it was Rollins and Reigns, I guess, at that point against AJ, Shane, Wyatt, and Orton. And Reigns, when he got the tag, Reigns, Jesus Christ, booze after booze, hit some good moves, and, you know, it, it was a lot of shit, right? A lot of things. Shane tags in after AJ hit a lot of moves and blocked the Superman punch. And Shane McMahon uh, did, did something that I, I saw coming the second Reigns was in the corner. Shane McMahon... Was going for the coast to coast, right? But Roman Reigns caught him with a spear. Now the referee counted, and Shane—I don't know if he kicked out, but he had his shoulder up. And I'm like, the fuck happened? He stopped counting. Referee check on Shane, and Shane—I guess he wasn't. He wasn't replying to the referee, and he looked like he was knocked out or something bad happened to where he got eliminated. And then the trainers came through and took out and checked on Shane and took him out. And the fans were chanting uh, Shane McMahon, Shane O'Mac, and yeah, he was out. Look, basically, the fans chanted Roman sucks. Uh, the fans, uh, this is this is an awful ass review. Good grief, good grief. But anyways, look. Simple as this. AJ Styles was put through the table. This was the this was my other favorite moment in this match. This point was my favorite part. I swear, one of one of my favorite or the other favorite. You see, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins was setting up for something. He wanted to power bomb AJ Styles through the table, right? So. Rollins and Reigns was about to do that. Was about to do that. Ambrose came back and he attacked AJ Styles. I guess he was still mad because AJ Styles kind of cost him of being eliminated. He was about to be taken out, but Reigns and, and Rollins helped him fight the security. And then the Shield 
th the shield came through again. I swear, this is like the second time within a year we had a shield moment. Last year, a payback against Randy Orton, that fatal forward match for the WWE title, and tonight at Survivor Series. And then Rollins brings AJ in after being powerbombed by the Shield. Styles got eliminated by Rollins. It was down to Rollins and Reigns against Bray Wyatt and Orton. And Harper comes through out of nowhere. And a lot of shit happened, bro. Rollins got eliminated by an RK. This, this was a beautiful RKO. Like, Rollins was going to go for a five-star frog splash. And then Randy Orton comes through. And drops him with an RKO out of nowhere. And then Wyatt pins Rollins. And then it was down to Orton and Wyatt against Reigns. And guess what? Reigns was about to hit Wyatt with a spear. But Reigns hit Orton with a spear. And Wyatt came through with a sister ab. One, two, three. The sole survivors was Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. Randy Orton won another Survivor Series match. God damn. And then we come down to the main event, which I... Kind of didn't want the main event, but holy shit. <laughs> Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Should, need I say more, bro? Need I say more? You know what? I'm just going to put the clip in, and then we're, I'm just going to end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Survivor Series. My, my thoughts on Survivor Series tonight was way better than last year. And it, this this show was great. I enjoyed the fuck out of it. Yes, I'm going to watch some other reviews and it's going to bum me out so hard. But I don't care. You know, I'm sticking with what I, what I said tonight. And I enjoyed Survivor Series. I had high hopes. I had a lot of expectations. I expected Brock Lesnar to walk in here and just take Goldberg to Suplex City. But oh, watch the reaction and you're going to know what happened next. So... Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe now for more. Follow me on Twitter at Boy123Gym. And for those on Twitter, thank you for showing me that showing me some love for the reaction that I uploaded. And I'll see you guys next time. And I am out uh later.